You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. So what is going on, Ask and Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviews on YouTube? This is Original Big Brian here, and yes, I am back with another Martin Trucks Jr. and Ask and Diecast Review. As you guys can tell, this setup looks relatively similar to the previous video that I uploaded. And uh, if you guys have watched the last episode of NASCAR Diecast News, which was last week, not this week, because we didn't have that much Diecast that came out, uh, you will guys will know probably what Martin Trucks Jr. car I'll be reviewing. I mean, I think it's the only Martin Trucks Jr. car I had not reviewed yet. Um, besides the auto owner's regular car, but I made a cameo on the last one, on the last uh, diecast view. But anyways, guys, uh, feel free to comment below what the diecast will be that I'll be reviewing, and you know, you can, uh, you know, get famous. <laughs> um, but uh, of course, the diecast view is gonna be, uh, you know, uh, presented by Lester's Diecast, um, Lester's Diecast Racing Collectible Store. Of course, it is my local diecast dealer, and I do highly recommend checking them out or any of your local diecast dealers that sell NASCAR diecasts or IndyCar diecasts or diecasts in general, guys. So here is the car right here. Of course, you know, showing off the uh, Lester's Diecast packaging, really cool. But um, like I said, feel free to comment below what this car will be, and I shall reveal it in three, two, one. The car we'll be reviewing today is Martin Truex Jr.'s NRA Music. Museum Furniture Row Racing Toyota Camry. Man, does this car look fantastic. Of course, this is the car that I think he only drove one race as well, uh, similar to the Martin Trex Jr. Uh, Johnson Throwback Auto Owner's car. He drove that car for one race. I believe he drove this car only at the uh, Bristol Night Race, uh, the second Bristol race, which was during around uh, this uh, late summer, I think, um, in August. Um, from what I know, I know it leads up to the chase, so I'm sure that's around you know somewhere in August. Um, the, uh, and this is also the main sponsor that races all the Bass Pro Shops NRA 500s, so I'm sure people are wondering, oh, did he won? No. As you guys remember, this is the car that uh, he is, uh, uh, this paint scheme is mostly famous for him getting into uh, with uh, the incident with Kyle Busch and Justin Allgaier, which that was, you know, very unfortunate, you know, coming from, you know, a Truex Jr. and Carl Edwards fan for myself. Um, yeah, that was rough right there, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, here's the box, you know, nothing too crazy about that, you know, and, uh, you know, you guys don't really have to read that if you want to. I mean, you guys already know what this diecast is, so, um, you know, it's a box. What more can you do about it? <laughs> but um, I do like this patriotic scheme, and we'll be uh, going over, and let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Alrighty, people on YouTube, we got this car out of its box, and oh my god, does this car look amazing. I think this has to be my favorite. Uh, I know I said that on the last Bass Pro Shops review, but man, this this Bass Pro Shops NRA Museum has to be probably my favorite Martin Truex Jr. paint scheme from last year. I gotta say that right here because I am a big fan of American colors coming from, you know, uh, if you guys saw my last March Jr. review, you guys know I am a huge supporter of the military, so this paint scheme really does indeed rock my socks off, indeed. Um, you know, big fan of American colors, and I love the red that is on the roof of this car. But, uh, of course, we'll be doing a 360 view of this car and, you know, look at its beauty. Um, this part is, uh, you know, one of my favorites as well. You see, you got the American flag and the stars and stripes just... Uh, even looks like probably some fireworks or something's going on in that background, but I do see American flags, so that's really, really cool right there. Um, and you see this in the front of the car. The Toyota logo is crooked, but you know, like I said, this is a Lionel car, so you know there are going to be some errors from then and now. Um, you know, can you be any surprised? And there's paint chip on the splitter. <laughs> I, I should not even be enthused anymore. So I should not be any more, you know, enthused with Lionel diecast than I am right now. Um, unless it was a 2014 diecast season. But uh, anyways, uh, back to reality. Um, yeah, this is uh, the car right here. And uh, similar to the Martin Trex Jr. car um, that I reviewed last time, the uh, auto owner's um, the, I almost said auto, owner, auto owner's furniture row. The auto owner's darn to throwback car. Um, the roof has to be probably my favorite as well, guys. I love the red on this car, and I love how there's only red on the top. It really gives it some uh, some uh, main differences to compare to the other Bass Pro Shops cars, which I'll be uh, you know doing a comparison all those all those three Bass Pro Shops cars very soon, including this one. But of course, we'll be doing a 360 view. Well, actually, we'll be looking at the sponsors. So uh, here we go. Let's pay attention, folks. We got March Exchanger's last name on the windshield with the two wonderful placed Toyota logos, unlike that grill. Uh, we got the big old Bass Pro Shops logo with that wonderful looking fish. Gotti looks very amused. To be on that logo. Toyota Camry 78 Furniture Racing, which you can just barely see. It's like embedded right there where that uh, fog lights are, <clears throat> or the fake fog lights. 
You got Sunoco Racing Fuel NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, because this is a 2016 car. Uh, Martin Truex Jr., the race winner sticker, of course, because this was before Darlington. So he only won at Charlotte around this time. <clears throat> now, like I said, he did not win this race, even though it was the NRA Bass Pro Shops 500. Bass Pro Shops NRA 500. Wow. Same thing. <laughs> Uh, you got number 78, NRA Museum. Uh, I think that says Springfield, Minnesota. Uh, blast me in the comments if I just, you know, completely, you know, screw that up. Bass Pro Shops. Um, and similar to that, that I guess we already did, I completely forget the B post. That's going to be something someone's going to be busting my balls in the comments for. Um, don't forget the B post, you a-hole. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Toyota Camry. Um... I really don't know what these other sponsors are. They are probably Bass uh, Arctic Cat, probably. I think they're, they are Bass Pro Shops uh, related sponsors, if I had to guess. Like, you know, Arctic Cat and Tracker Boats. That's just my guess, because I can barely read them. I mean, I, I only have a human eye. I don't have a, you know, a fly's eye or, you know, someone that could, you know, see something microscopic. <laughs> Great analogy right there, Brian. Um, you got NRA, Bass Pro Shops Toyota, the Toyota logo. Um, wonderfully balanced on there, unlike the other side. Camry XSE 78 NRA Museum and Springfield wherever that state was <laughs> Bass Pro in all caps so I guess someone really wanted to point that out dot com and of course if you guys do know what race to 2011 says this side should be the same as the left side and of course this side as well <laughs> but um yeah, like I said, I really like this paint scheme, guys. I love the stars and the American flag that's on this. And then it's very simple black on the uh, back, which that's pretty cool, you know. I, I'm a big fan. I'm not really a big fan of fading designs, but, man, they really nailed this. And I like how this uh, paint scheme was able to, you know, um, you know, pay a tribute to uh, Nation's Colors. I'm always big fans of those cars. I mean, that's why I like the Salutes cars. I mean, that's why I've been collecting a lot of Salutes cars very recently. I just recently picked up the Jimmy Johnson uh, Lowe's Salutes car from the Bonus Wave because I really do like American Colors. And if you guys do like American Colors or Martin Trek Jr. Diecast, of course, you should. Re I highly recommend getting you guys this car. This is probably the best Bass Pro Shops car that they have for this year. Um, if you don't have any other Bass Pro Shops cars, then this is one to get right here for sure. But of course, we'll be doing a little comparison. So as I slide the camera right here, we're going to make some room on not two, but three Bass Pro Shops cars. As you guys can see, this is all the Bass Pro Shops cars that were released from last year. Um, of course, uh, two of them are from NASCAR Authentics, which I thought that was pretty cool. But as, you guys, as you guys can clearly see right here, uh, excuse me, there's the burp. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've never done three die casts before, so this is going to be entertaining. So uh, get ready to have the popcorn out, folks. Um, as you guys can see right here, uh, there's uh, not too much big differences on Bass Pro Shops logos uh, with the accession of the, uh, the Charlotte win because it's a lot more enlarged. I guess they wanted to really think big. Mm. Uh, let's see, and um, you know the first two look very similar. Of course, of course, this is where the paint scheme really starts to get different. I mean, it does have a black hood, so I guess that's the only main uh, you know similarity that this car has. Um, and you see, it has a white splitter, and it's not all orange like the other two are. Um, but we're gonna split this up, guys. Already, we are going to you know look at these two Bass Pro Shops cars as I don't drop the diecast. Uh, diecast murderer right here, <laughs> or diecast nightmares. Jeez, uh, but yeah, you can clearly see this is a much more different paint scheme. I don't really have to go too much on this because it is a lot more different. So if you already have the uh, the bottom card, then I recommend picking up this car as well because it'll look great with the Bass Pro Shops cars. I mean, Bass Pro Shops cars always make some really cool looking cars, but this one I thought was a lot more different because they didn't have to use orange for once, and I thought that was really cool. Like I said, I liked the red on this. That's not orange, it's red. I know it looks a little um, lighter on the camera, but it's a really bright red on this car. Um, but yeah, very nice. And you can see the back of this car looks, um, you know, paint scheme wise, relatively similar. That's pretty standard for all furniture road racing diecast. And, of course, there is a big difference right here as well. Um, <clears throat> and now I'll do a side comparison of the Charlotte win because there are some differences on this car as well. Um, you see there's a lot more black on this car, but 
similar to the Bass Pro Shops car, the primary paint scheme, there's a lot of big differences with this car. Um, even though it does have a salute spanner on there, but this car does not because um, this was ran at Charlotte. Um, <clears throat> that was around uh, NASCAR Salutes Month. <laughs> but man, that would look really cool if they had this name banner on here. That would just top it off. But I still like this car regardless or not. Uh, like I said, my favorite uh, March Rex Jr. diecast for sure. So like I said, if you already picked up these two cars, why not add this one right here? I think this car definitely blows those two right out of the water. Like I said, I love the difference of this car and the American colors look amazing on this car. But feel free to tell me what you guys think of this car in the comments. I think a lot of you guys are just as excited as I am to get this die cast. This car was canceled in the 124 scale, but they made it in the 164 scale and man, Lionel did a great job making this die cast. Even there are still some decal errors and all that, but you know, just be glad this car is on EL Mall. Just thank God, man. <laughs> um, but um, other than that, guys, this has been an Ascot IKS video on the Mark Trex Jr. NRA Museum, Bass Pro Shops, Patriotic, Toyota Camry, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to say Patriotic because it looks really, really cool. And um, if you guys like this uh, review, please give it a good comment life. And if you guys have not already, highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel as I'll be doing more NASCAR diecast reviews on Carl Lover's diecast, March Rex Jr. diecast, and probably during the month of May, I'll be doing IndyCar diecast, guys. So uh, feel free to tune into that very soon uh, once the month of May hits, and I'll be going on to my road to Indy uh, like I always do. Third year's a charm, guys, but um, I'm going to wrap it up right here guys so uh like i said feel free to hit that like button and subscribe and um this has been a diecast review guys so we'll see you guys on the next diecast review to come but until then guys this is a ridge rig bryce signing off and we'll see you guys on the next nascar diecast review